Back here, Brighton, are they about to appoint the youngest manager in Premier League history? Uh, it's said they're closing in on the appointment of one uh, Fabian Hurlitzer as their new uh, head coach. Who is he? Well, uh, he's the man who's been in charge of uh, League Two side St. Pauli for 18 months. He's Texas born. He got St. Pauli promoted. And this fella seems to be the bee's knees, if there is such a phrase in uh, Germany. Um, and now Brighton closing in on the lad, but he's 31. How would you, how would some of the old heads feel at a club like that if you, if I can describe you as indeed an old head? The truth, uh, the truth would be. With someone like that coming in. The truth would be, Jim, they'd have to work a lot harder and very quickly on gaining respect. I know that sounds a little bit... I mean, it's just the reality of it. Because when you're a senior player, I mean, you want to be impressed by a manager anyway, but you're very... It's First impressions are a big deal, but even more so when you're young and you're younger than some of the players. You've got to be damn impressive and you've got to come across like you know your stuff. Yeah. And, you, and it's hard for young managers, even if they are talented, to earn that respect it comes over time the training sessions the way you talk in the meeting your ideas I, I think it's a huge risk I mean her, at Premier League an, level I think that's a huge it's an risk. interesting point Danny Herzler who turned 31 in February he's younger than the likes of Jason Steele the goalkeeper Dunk Veltman Gross Milner Welbeck I mean th that surely is not going to go unnoticed and yet maybe in the space of a few days it might well, I mean, more. Let, I mean, let's look at the other angle. It, it, being younger, you have an, un, a much clearer understanding of some of the needs and and, and thoughts uh, of the and the pressures of the, the players are under. You know, you're of a similar age, so you get it a little bit more. But he hasn't really played, so that could be a problem. Ultimately, it's a bigger risk than bringing in a more experienced guy who's been around the block and knows what he's doing. Yeah. But a lot of football clubs are thinking outside the box, and Brighton have done it many, many times. I I think that's a huge gamble. I mean, Simon, you were the youngest chairman. I was the in, in, in the in the top one. flight. Did you feel you had to? Go, well, I don't know where I'm going to go with this. Did you feel you had to go uh, any distance to win people over that bit more, m that bit more than you might have done, or did you care? I couldn't care less. <laughs> there you go. It worked for me. Why ask it? No, but you know, if you if you go in with that attitude. You're going to find yourself in a situation where you'll neither be Arthur nor Martha. Yeah, but you own the business. Between two it's stores. very different. You owned it. You'd proven well, something going to by the dressing room. You don't own it by getting the job. You think you think that you think that the mug owner that's coming in to write checks out to give you guys the next opportunity that you want is respected? Do you? No. What's respected is how people interact with what you do in front of them. Yeah. How they interact with you. Yeah. You can walk in the door as a top class manager, open your trap, and you lot will work them out within a week. Yeah. And if you don't like it, they're gone. Exactly. So it's got nothing to do with that. It's got everything to do with how you conduct yourself. And if you've got to work a bit harder because certain people in that dressing room are a bunch of old lags that need to have their minds concentrated, then work a bit harder. Mm. <laughs> I think there's a difference, though, because my experience, my, my feeling Thank was that, that the owner of the club... I hope that was helpful. <laughs> every, the lads know that the owner of the club pays your wages. So there's oh, always a... leave off. Honestly, sir, I'm telling you my experience. So oh, really? there was always a sense of... Got to be nice to the owner. It doesn't matter whatever he says. I'm going to be nice. I'm not going to think. And were you I, nice? Yeah. Yes, to, you were to nice, his face. yeah. But veneer wise, yeah. And then yeah. you walk around and call and put a lovely sign behind your back. Well, I, <laughs> I, so it's, it's got nothing. To do, respect is not about who pays you. It's about how you interact with somebody right. and how deep yeah, it that's runs. True. Yeah. That's and if true. the manager can, the manager gets your attention, the owner pops around. He's like he's like the king. He only smells new paint, right? The bottom line is, is the manager is the one that occupies your attention because he controls your destiny. Do you know what it is? What, what do you Jim? think of this thinking if this is indeed the direction in which Brighton are going? Well, I would like to suggest that which part of Tony Bloom and Paul Barber's thinking over the last three or four years has been flawed. Correct. Yeah. The one yeah. the one advantage he's got going into a club like Brighton, very different going to Brighton than it is going to Man United or Liverpool as a 31-year-old manager. Most of the players at Brighton, if not, well, yeah, a huge majority of the players at Brighton want to go on and kick on in their careers. Footballers get to the level of Premier League when they're self-motivated and there's a bit of you know pride in what you right, do. Right. If you're playing for Brighton, you don't want to stay there. No disrespect. You want to go. Sure. So the majority of... It, it, they, it should look after itself, the motivational right. aspect of it. But but I'm surprised they're bringing in a 31-year-old, you know, I have to be honest. Well, it would make him... Uh, Herzler would be the youngest manager in the Premier League since its formation in 1992. He is a man, the name in the frame, Fabian Herz Herzler. Uh, is the man that Paul Barber and Tony Bloom are said to, to be talking to and we'll see if they indeed land him. Jim White and Simon Jordan Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport